Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Indianapolis Colts and the New England Patriots. And it's all up next. We welcome you to Patriot Place. And a look inside Gillette Stadium here in Foxborough, Massachusetts. So good to have you on board with us. Mike Tirico and Greg Olson here in the booth. Greg, in this league, you know it. You lived it. Undergoing a changing of the guard quarterback position sometimes can be traumatic, but a lot of times it leads to hope. We've got a couple of teams here with young signal callers looking towards the future. And you know the old saying, Mike, in the NFL, it is truer than ever. If you have a quarterback, you have a chance. And here we have two teams that feel like they have that quarterback position of the future settled. There's going to be some growing pains. There's going to be some moments where that youth rears its head. But over the long term, both these organizations feel like they have an answer at the most critical position in all of sports. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Patriots have a rookie quarterback. It is Drake May. Long past the Tom Brady era, it is May, who is now the guy in Foxborough. Out of North Carolina, Greg, the third pick in this past year's draft. There's a lot to like about this young quarterback, Mike. I mean, he has that intriguing skill set that has the potential to develop into something pretty special over time. There's undoubtedly going to be some growing pains. That's expected. But I'm excited to see what he does with this opportunity now that his number's been called. And we'll mark him down just shy of the 40. From the 39, here's a first and 10. The Patriots, first down. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. Off the play fake, here's May. Open man, that's the tight end, Hunter Henry. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. Working out of the gun, it's May. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. linebacker timing his blitz he didn't give any indication to the offense that he was coming and he's able to get through that hole and take the ball carrier down for a loss and he'll get a few yards on this return up past the 15 yard line Indianapolis led out by their quarterback Anthony Richardson the number four overall pick in 2023 had some highlight moments, but injured most of the year. Greg now in his second year in the NFL out of Florida. We throw around so loosely these days, Mike, the idea of being a physical freak, right? This specimen that we just aren't accustomed to seeing, let alone at the quarterback position. The arm talent, the ridiculous blend of size and speed, the ability to make plays with your feet and extend. All of these things come to mind when we look at this guy. Now, going forward, how does he strike that balance between being the game changer and that aggressive athlete with the ball in his hand, but also finding a way to stay on the field and be able to develop? Make no mistake about it, though. The energy in this stadium is palpable, and he's the biggest reason why. Here's third down and a few inches. Looking to throw, Richardson. That's the tight end, Mo Alley Cox. 
The initial reaction is, how does this quarterback not throw the ball past the first down line to gain to try to extend this drive? And the reality is, because they've already decided they're going to go for it on fourth down. If he doesn't pick up the extra yards after the catch, they've got a fourth down play call they feel great about. We're going to see what it looks like. The Patriots offense ready to see the football for the second time. They'll search for the first points of this game as they begin the drive on first and ten. They'll start on the ground with Stevenson. And he'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five. They'll go right back to Stevenson. And it'll be a pickup of three. So third down, forthcoming. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. That's a gain of three. Brings up third and Throwing three. now is May. That's caught by Bourne. The first round pick looking right at home in this offense. It's a first down. Here's first and ten. Here's Stevenson. And a strong first down run. A pickup of nine. Setting up second and short. Out of the gun. Here's May. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Just a great example of not only the anticipation, but the instincts to go break that pass up, Mike. You can see he's clearly looking at the quarterback's eyes. And once that ball was delivered, he's just attacking it and breaking it up. And he'll work his way down to the 32-yard line. And that is enough for a first down. And the Patriots, first down. They'll go again here with Stevenson. Not much there. Maybe a yard. Here's second and nine. A gain of a yard. Brings up seven and nine. That one. Oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. Now, obviously, there's never a good time to fumble the ball. It's probably the thing that teams stress the most is ball security. But it makes it a little bit easier knowing that your own team was able to fall on top of it, and at least you can maintain possession. First and goal. Slot man in motion right. Here comes the jet sweep. And that is not going to work out as planned. Maybe a tough spot to try to run a play like that. Either way, it's blown up back behind the line of scrimmage. Second and goal at the 11 yard line. May to throw on second down. Now he'll run. Great job in coverage here. Nowhere for the quarterback to go with the ball. He decides to tuck it and turn it to a runner. They get to him quickly. Picks up a couple yards, but not enough now. Brings up third down. No try and throw. Here's May. And he will take this one across into the end zone. Great May. Touchdown, Patriots. The defense comes up with the coverage, but they cannot keep up with the speed as the quarterback scrambles to the end zone for the touchdown. And down here in the red zone, Mike, is where I think a quarterback's legs can be the most dangerous. The defenders are trying to match backs, match tight ends and receivers, but often it's the quarterback that has no one assigned to him, and in this case, he's able to capitalize and run it in himself. 7-0 is our score as this kick is sent into the air. Josh Downs now on the return. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Colts offense about ready to get going on their second possession. They were forced to punt the first time through. It led to a touchdown, so down 7-0 as they get the ball back for first and 10. On first down, it's Richardson. That's caught inside by Pittman on the slant. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Second and a yard. From the gun, Richardson. And 
and that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. Richardson will give it to Taylor. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. We are through one. The Patriots out on top. And we're back to Foxborough in a moment. Here's a second and six. On play action, Richardson. And they're going to get to him and take him down. Take him back to the other side of midfield. They come to the line needing 11 here on third down. Out of shotgun, Richardson. And that is incomplete. They got there in a hurry, didn't they, Mike? I mean, luckily for him, he saw that free rusher coming and at the very least was able to get that ball out to prevent the sack. Here's Rigoberto Sanchez now. The punt for the second time, looking to pin the opponent back deep. On the return is Joe. Oh, hello. He is stopped in his tracks on that one. They made sure that return was not going any farther. The Pates offense ready to take over once again. They lead it here in the second quarter, 7-0, as they begin with a first and 10. That's complete to Ramondre Stevenson out of the backfield. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. On second down, it's May. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove. And there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way. Every play they call, you're wide open. And you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. Really well done here by the defense, Mike, executing this zone defense, and they've got to be able to pattern read. You're not just going to drop back to a spot and just play like a robot. Based on what the receivers do off the line, the defenders have different rules of where their zones move to. Well, they had that one dialed in right from the jump, and they were able to stop that play really before it got started. Here's the Indianapolis offense. Now as they get set to take over once more, They've got great starting position with a short field as they try to get back in this one. It is first and ten. Open man. That's Alec Pierce. And they'll take this down inside the 35. They'll come up here first and ten. They'll run on first down with Taylor. And that'll be a pickup of three. Second and seven. They'll go again here with Kale. And he'll get this ahead. Game of about four. And it leads to third down. They'll try and run for this. It's Taylor. And that call will not get it done. The defense ready, stopping him behind the line of scrimmage. It sets up fourth down. Matt Gay coming on for this field goal try. Officially, this will be a 43-yarder. Gay's kick is good. And the Colts are on the board. It's 7-3. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. This field in at about the nine. Oh, he's got room past the 30. And they'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. The Patriots offense ready to get back at him. 
The lead sits at four. So he'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. And nothing on that one. Back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. No gain on the play. Second and Throwing on second down. May has completed to Douglas. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. They'll run here with Gibson. Changing direction there as he's able to pick up three. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. Operating from the shotgun, it's May. This one complete. A.J. Osborne with the grab. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. Gibson. And he'll be taken down as we tick down to the two-minute warning. Here's second and three to go. Throwing is May. Now he'll run it. And May will not risk it. Into the slot. And he's got the first down. Red zone now. He'll drop to throw. And that's going to wind up uncatchable out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. Let's go now. May to try it again on second and ten. And he's in. Great May. Touchdown New England. That is second touchdown tonight. And that is now a pair of rushing touchdowns. The quarterback giving it to them, Greg, with his legs in this one. And we're starting to see, Mike, why this week this coaching staff told us they're encouraging this guy to do this more often. His ability to be a passer but also a rusher is an element to this offense that is hard for defenses to account for. Tries at the point, up and good. And the Patriots extend their advantage to 14-3. to three. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. This returnable from the four. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Colts offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They trail now 14-3, so an 11-point deficit as they start things out with first and 10. Now he takes off. And will mark him down just shy of the 40. Now the Colts will use the first of their timeouts. And they'll have a chance to talk things over after picking up that first half. Quick throw taken in. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. They're going to work this down inside the 45. Timeout, Indianapolis. That is their second. And they'll stop it just over a minute remaining in this first half. And this one is caught by Pierce. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yards, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. Throwing on second down, Richardson. Going over the middle and taken in by Pittman. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. First and 10. To throw, it's Richardson. He's going to be marked down at the 12-yard line. 11 yards for number 11. And a first down. Richardson to the left side and taken in by down. 
Second down throw for Richardson. This one on the floor. And he is close to the pileup, but they say he's not in. But he's got the next best thing. No touchdown, but a first down. It's first and goal. Now the Patriots are going to use their first timeout. Matt Gay coming on for this field goal try. This about as short as you can get. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Colts cut the lead to four. It's ten to six. Final second now of this first half as this one is away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment. But for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Report. These two teams making their way back out of their locker room. So that means we're just about set for the second half. And to bring it your way, we go back out to Mike and Greg. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half. Coming up. Both teams ready to get back at it as we get back underway here on EA Sports. On the return, this is down. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Colts offense ready to get going again. They'll have it first in this third quarter. The deficit is eight as this drive begins with first and ten. Richardson operating from the pistol. A hit as he throws there. It's going to wind up incomplete. The pressure got to him that time and it'll set up second down. Now Richardson. That one complete to Pierce. Well, he's brought down that pass. He's going to pick up four and bring up third down. Here's Richardson. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. This brought in out past the 20. Oh, looks like he may have had a seam for a moment, but he's taken down after a solid return. The Patriots offense ready for their first possession of this second half. The advantage is eight. We'll see if they can make this a two-score game on this drop. First down and 10. Ah, uh, nowhere to get away, and he's gonna go down. We'll try again here. Second and ten. A run here with Stevenson. And this is going to make the play caller happy. Good run. Eight yards. Much more manageable third down coming up. On third and two, it's May. Airing one out for Bourne. That is incomplete. Well read that time defensively, making it difficult downfield. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. They're going. It's May. And he's going to have the first down. So taking a chance there, playing with the lead. But it works out for them. Taken in by Douglas. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pick up of five and sets up second and five. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 47 yard line. Now Gibson. And the defense all over this one. They knock him down. It'll go down as a loss of two. Here's third and seven. Brings up third and seven. Out of the gun, here's May. Open man, left side, he's got it. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. First and ten now.
from the 36. They'll give this to Stevenson, running right. And that'll be good for about a half dozen. It'll set up second down. Here's Gibson. Working out of the gun, it's May. And good yardage there after the catch to wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Well, this is a great example of the old saying, Mike, you never go broke taking a profit. Give credit to this quarterback. I know it's not the big explosive play he was looking for, but getting the ball into the hands of his running back allowed him to pick up some extra yardage after the catch. And that'll give him the first down. Tackle made after the pickup of three. That's another first down. To throw is May. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Doesn't get much better than that. Had he gotten there just a little bit earlier, he probably draws the flag a little late, and it's probably a touchdown. Let's go now. They'll look to run with Stevenson. A good blocking, and he's in. Ramontre Stevenson. Touchdown, Patriots. You can just see the comfort, Mike, that this offense continues to play with. The early momentum in the first half has carried here after the break, and you can see this group just slowly starting to pull away. And I'm thinking, Greg, about the guys on the other side. You're waiting at halftime. That other offense waiting to get back on the field. What happens? They come right out, extend the lead, and now the task gets a lot tougher for this second half. Kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kicks away. On the return, this is down. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Colts offense back onto the field for their next possession. They need to start making some inroads here. Down two scores as they begin this drive with first down. That's the tight end, Moali Cox. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Here's a second and three fourth coming. A run with Taylor. And this is going to be a coach first down as he gets this up to the 42. Zone read, it's a give to Taylor. And he'll push his way ahead for a gain of two. Jabril Pepper is up from the safety spot to bring him down. Hook him up on the second down and eight. Out of Shaka, Richardson. This one complete right side. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. To break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. From the gun, Richardson. That one into the hands of Downs. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching. A throw on the move is caught. And they will take him down at the 20 yard line. On first down, it's Richardson. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Jawan Bentley. And the Patriots are going to take over at their own 13 yard line. 
so you find yourself entering the red zone. Mike, it's hard to not start envisioning scoring a touchdown. Well, that interception, it changes everything. This is a huge missed opportunity. You have to capitalize and find a way to hang six on the defense. They'll start on the ground with Stevenson. And he's shedding tackles left and right, winding his way for a gain of eight. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. It's a gain of eight. Brings up May to throw on second down. Escaping the danger, throwing and completing. And he will have this at midfield, forced out of bounds there. First and ten, here's May. Oh, what a run. Down inside the 30-yard line. So, three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing on first and ten is May. And that ball incomplete. Pretty clear approach here, Mike. You're just trying to take advantage of the size of your tight end versus a smaller defender. And you're just saying box him out, go up for an offensive rebound, and get the ball at its highest point. In this case, it falls incomplete. But if they continue to get that matchup, this quarterback's not going to shy away from giving his big tight end a shot. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Third down and 10 yards to go. Operating from the shotgun, it's May. That is brought in at the 10. And he will score. Hendrick Thorne. That's one of those scores where it's not completely over, but it's getting to be about that time. Yeah, Mike, I just think they're entering miracle stage right now, and I just don't think there's any coming back from this deficit. Slides at the point, up and good. And the Pats will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. ready to go once more as the kicks away this fielded at the two across the 20 they'll mark him down before the 25 yard line and that's where the offense will take over the visitors offense ready to see what they can do things not looking good but see if we get the turnaround going here they'll start this drive with first down oh the struggles continue Another interception. Picked off by Jonathan Jones. Well, Mike, once again, this drive, it ends the same way their last one did. Walking off the field, following an interception. Now, you're hoping this is more momentary struggle than it is a trend. But as hard as it is to do, they need to get calmed down. They need under pressure, and he'll go down. They got him. So after the loss on first, here's second and 14. Now May. And that ball incomplete over the middle. I think this defense is wondering where some of these missed throws were earlier in the game. I mean, for a while it seemed like everything the offense did hit. And after that last incomplete pass, although this game's all but over, this defense will certainly take it. The defense blows a chance to get off the field as the offense converts third and 14. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. On Brown, Gibson. He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. If he gets a yard out of that one, it's second down. May 
going to look to throw. Fifth check down, Gibson out of the backfield. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. It's a gain of four. Brings up third and six. To throw now. May. In trouble. And down he goes. Defense came out in a soft zone, and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down, he ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed to get to the backfield and bring him down. I think at this point in the game, Mike, when you have things under control, not only were they able to hold on to the ball for a while, they still were able to manage to add three points. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. The visitor's offense and Anthony. Richardson to throw here on first and 10. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And they'll mark him down just shy of the 40. It's a nice start to the drive. A gain of 10 and a quick first down. Looking to throw. Richardson. And he's going to run out of time. They get to him and bring him down. Really nice start for this defense here early through the first quarter. Two different players each recording a sack. Offensive line's gonna have to get together on the sideline with their coach and identify where's the weakness in our protection? How can we get extra bodies and extra attention? Because we still got a long way to go in this one. This throw right side pulled in by Pittman. He'll get about six before he's taken down. From the gun on third down, Richardson. That's taken in. And a good short tackle right there. It stops him a good distance short of the marker. It sets up fourth down. Richardson operating from the pistol. He manages to get the throw away and completes it. It's a pickup of 12 as they wind up converting on fourth down. On first and 10, here's Richardson. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. A second down throw for Richardson. They'll try to set up the screen here. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Now a third and two. Here's Richardson. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively. Setting up a fourth down. They'll run for it. It's Taylor. Oh, he's going to be very close. It depends on the mark. But he is short. They've held him on fourth down. You find yourself down big. It's the fourth quarter. There's really no choice but to go for this at this point. But once again, this defense, they're up to the task, and they come through yet again with a huge stop. Nice pickup, moving it across the 40. We'll give him six on that play. So two minutes left to play in the second half. Greg and I back for the conclusion in a moment. They'll work now on second and four. They'll go again here with Stevenson. And he will wiggle his way forward for a gain of a couple. Up 
on third and two. It's May. Under pressure, and down he goes. They got him. This is a great reminder of why it's so important to have great offensive tackles. When you get beat so fast off the edge, the quarterback has nowhere to go in the pocket to escape, and that's what happens. They'll go. Here's May. He finds a man. That's Osborne. And he's going to have the Pats first down. They come up with a big one there to keep the drive moving. And then some. They'll work the middle this time with Stevenson. And that's the way you want to run it on first down. A gain of seven. It's a gain of seven. He'll go right back to Stevenson. And he'll work his way for about four yards. That's good enough for a first down. The throw is May. And he can hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. On the carry, it's Stevenson. That was some good downhill running to get him about six yards and set up a much more manageable third down. On the handoff, it's Stevenson. And we'll get whistles and a timeout, so they will stop the clock. Closing seconds, game decided, but timeout anyway. Joey Sly comes on. They'll try the field goal here. This will be a 38-yard attempt. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Patriots will add to their lead here in the fourth quarter. So it's not exactly what you're looking for when you set out on a drive, but at the same time, you don't want to come away empty-handed either. So in this case, they'll take those three points. Down to the final few seconds of this one as the kick is away. This will be returned from the two. And he'll be brought down there, and that'll put a wrap on this one. Time has expired in this fourth quarter. So it's a win for the Patriots. And it was their defense that led the way as they pitched a shutout in the second half. No points allowed. And they cruise to victory. So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. The Patriots winners at home as we say so long from Foxborough.